So meanwhile, Jubilee is apparently retracting its uh, criticism of the judiciary following the landmark Supreme Court ruling that nullified President Uhuru Kenyatta's re-election, led by leaders of majority in the Senate, Kipchumba Murkomen. A section of Jubilee MPs say they respect the ruling of the judges and the independence of the judiciary. <laughs> Politicians from both Nasa and Jubilee have been blowing hot and cold in regards to the decisions made by the two crucial independent institutions that are currently on the spotlight, IEBC and the judiciary. When the ruling favors them, they seem to embrace it. But when the opposite happens, they bash it depending on which side of the coalition one is supporting. Sharia, iwe ni nzuri wakati na kupendelea. Lakini ikichukua hatua ambaye haikupendezi huipendi. We can't work like that, my brothers and sisters. Nilikuwa rais mtarajiwa. Si ni kweli? Si maraga na watu yake hao wa kora hao wamesema ati basi hiyo uchaguzi ipotee. Si ndivyo wamesema? Sasa mimi sana sio rais mtarajiwa. Mimi ni rais ambao amekalia kiti discretion of seven individuals however wise can neither represent nor substitute the voice of 15 million people what has transpired today is but the first step in ensuring electoral justice in kenya but now some jubilee politicians on behalf of the principals seem to have softened their stones and called for a ceasefire even as they now state that the independence of the constitutional bodies should be respected the referee is an independent uh, body which is independent electoral and boundaries commission which is an independent commission it's just like uh, supreme court is an independent body uh, that commission the constitution says that they don't work under the direction of anybody. We have given the, uh, the IBC the mandate through legislation to conduct uh, their affairs. Why would anybody direct IBC to do what they are supposed to do, yet they, they are independent body? So for us, we are not defending IBC, no. We are just saying that the law should be followed to the letter. He agreed with part of it that says the election is null and void, but does not agree on the directive given by the Supreme Court. He in the double standard. He ni trying to create a crisis ndi apate serikali ya nusumkati which atuwezi kubali the politicians who criticize the position taken by NASA presidential candidate Raila Odinga against the date of the fresh presidential elections indicated that they are ready and willing to abide by any decision reached by the bodies we hope that IEBC will be the independent body that it is and stick to the rules stick to the processes they will have put in place so that the elections can be held on time. We do not want to cause anxiety. We don't want to, to incite our children who are in school. So we would ask and kindly ask the opposition leader to refrain and keep off the issues of examination. We need to be more civil uh, as citizens of this country, respect institutions. We respected what um, the Supreme Court said, even if we didn't agree with them, but we respected. Raila Odiga and team should also respect what IBC has said, and we should actually support them rather than castigate them. Political pundits argue that continued verbal attacks on Chief Justice David Maraga would only dent the support that Jubilee received in the larger Abagusi region, given that there have been several demonstrations in Kisi and Nyamira, protesting what they termed as attacks directed to one of them, hence the change of tune. Chris, the KTN News.